Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Gehrig, and today I'm so happy to bring you from our friends at Creative Expressions. These are paper cut scenes cutting dies. So let's go through these. This is the Christmas Carols, the Polar Winter, the Snowy Embrace, the Nativity, and the Winter Wonderland, and Santa Owl. I can't wait to show you what my friend Debbie and I did with these, so come play with us. So here is an example of what these beautiful creations look like when they are cut from white cardstock. As you can see, they don't cut out around the image necessarily, you cut them from a square or even a circle piece of cardstock. And they just look beautiful on cards, but I wanted to show you close-ups of both the Christmas carols and the win polar winter here. Now let's see, this is what my friend Debbie made using of course the nativity. And what this is actually is, it's a bit of an easel card like this. And then because it's got vellum here, you can put this tea light behind that and it can glow. Isn't that beautiful? I'm going to show you what she started with here is a six by six card. And then I'm gonna open this up and you can see once she covered this first with some gold holographic paper, which, did I hide it? Here we go. She covered that card with gold sparkle holographic paper. All right, then she added some flowing ink 12 by 12 patterned cardstock as well as she used no she didn't use the solid I grabbed that by mistake she just used the flowing ink pattern cardstock all right and then once she covered those then she made some scores right here they're about an inch and a half from the bottom of the card and then an inch and a half apart here so that means you can fold it like this and then once you've got a little stand on the inside of your card something with a little foam tape there you can just prop that right up like that and then put your little light behind it and then isn't that pretty to enjoy a great christmas decoration and it seems here that debbie even layered up two of her oops, um, two of these die cut images just to make it a little thicker um, so that it stood up a little easier. Now the vellum you can also buy at Paper Wishes. Okay, it's just plain vellum. And then she also took her image from the white cardstock and she die cut that into a circle using the 12 circle and scallops cutting dies. And then she also cut this frame right here from the largest two of the cutting dies and added some of these beautiful sparkly little bits around there, which I think is just a gorgeous card. All right, so let's see what else I've got to show you here. Here is the Santa Owl. Maybe we can zoom in a little bit, Steve. So I forgot to actually sh show you the actual dies. I got so excited here. So here is the polar, I almost wanna call it the polar bear, but it's polar winter. And then this one is the Christmas Carols die. And then here, of course, was the Nativity die that she used. All right, so here is the Santa Owl. Go. These all fit through the Big Shot die cutting machine with its six and one eighth inch wide platform, no problem at all. Um, so for this one, I used a beautiful sparkly gold card stock glitter card available at Paper Wishes. And then I had fun running this one through my die machine a couple of times. First of all, I die cut it from olive suede paper. And if you're not familiar with suede paper, it is gorgeous. It's actual like fabric that is attached to paper. And so it die cuts beautifully, it embosses beautifully, it's great stuff. And then on the, I matted that, with, this is the forest suede. So that's how it stands out nicely with the trees right here. And then I die cut sort of just, I took a small piece of this mocha brown suede and I just put it right about there on my 
die and ran that through so I didn't have to die cut the entire thing. And then just cut away some of the bits that I didn't want to have, like that star, and then just glued that right over the olive suede so that I had my nice brown owl. And then I used some of the gold glitter cardstock, which matches the card, and cut out, just did my die through that and sort of just did little bits. Now I'm gonna show you a little secret here. So like I just cut the owl, right? And then took the little bits out for the le for the uh, leaves, for the wings and for the face and the nose and things like that. And then I used actually silver linen cardstock to do the bits here for um, the hat. I used red for the hat itself. But I wanted to show you, this is how like, I will keep these little bits like this. And whenever I need to do something like this little bit right here for the hat, where there's a little bird down here, I just drag out my little stash of little bits of glitter cardstock and I just die cut them from here because I don't want to waste any of this stuff. And I'm wondering, do you guys do that too? Do you just heard, sort of had this little stash? I just keep them in a little Rubbermaid container shoebox and I pull them out and I'm just looking for all my littlest bits because I don't want to cut into a big sheet. Um, I started thinking about that when I was making this. I'm like, do other people do this too? Um, so anyway, that's one of my little things that I do. And then the lanterns I just did from black cardstock. And then the Holly Jolly is from our Christmas greeting dazzles. It comes with both script greetings, which are stuck together right here in different finishes. And also it also has, which are upside down, these little tiny words and phrases, dazzle stickers. And Debbie and I use this collection a lot because it's got these two different kind of looks um, and different fonts on there. I think I got everything on this card. Yes, I did. Okay. So then we've also got, I thought I'd build a card with you on this one. Let's do that with the snowy embrace. Here we go. The snowy embrace, I actually took a six by six card. Sure, I got it going the right direction here and put it right there on my card. And then of course, just use a little bit of my hunky dory low tack tape and attached that here and here. It's also nice to attach it sort of within the die. <laughs> that way, when I'm running it through the machine, this stuff gets really compressed and I find that if I attach it within the die, it sticks really well, and that these are the little bits that are gonna fall away anyway, so it doesn't matter if they kind of um, leave a little bit of adhesive on there, okay? So you run it through your machine, just like that. It's gonna fit through your six, inch, six and an eighth inch wide Big Shot platform, just fine. And then you've got your your card here, what's cut directly from the card front. On the inside of this card, I just cut away a little bit of the Snowfall six by six papers. I just cut that down to about five and a half inches instead of six. So it's got that one right there. So it's got a nice scene behind it. And then I die cut this again from black cardstock. And I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna cut away a little snow couple. I could use this on something else if I wanted. I'm gonna keep the rabbit, so I'm just gonna cut away the snow couple. And then I'm also gonna cut away this little bit of mistletoe right up here. All right, now, I'm going to turn this over. See, so my bunny, it's here and here. I'm going to turn it over. So now my bunny is on the other side. I'm gonna glue it on the inside of my card just slightly offset, and here's why. When you do that, you have sort of more scenery in the background, which I think is just really cool. So you've got another little bunny that's sort of peeking out and other little elements in the trees and the snowflakes, and it just kind of makes a more dense little forest. So I'm going to be using my Cosmic Shimmer Specialist Acrylic Glue 
which is our favorite paper glue. And I need to make sure my nozzle is good to go here. Sometimes these things sit here in between filming and they get clogged up. And I gotta tell you, 100% of the time I forget to check it. And Steve, who's filming this video right now, is probably rolling his eyes going, Lene, you're supposed to check that before we do the video. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that was good and clogged. So Steve is laughing at me. Um, all right, so I'm gonna put some glue, just sort of some dots around the outside edge. And then a couple here. All right, and then, going to put it here and I want to see that little bunny rabbit down in the corner. He's going to peek up there. There we go. And then I'm going to attach that and then I want to make sure yeah, it's a little off center in here. There we go. All right. And then if this part being a little offset like really really bothers you, you could also just take this and you could glue it over that but then you wouldn't really have a window so anyway it's just one of those things all right so that's how that's gonna look let's see what it looks like if you put a tea light in there can't see that at all really <laughs> but that's how it would look if you did prop this up on a mantle with a tea light in there all right so now the next part is I took some silver glitter cardstock and okay. And oh, here there. My 12 circle and scallop cutting dies. I used the second to the largest one. And I'm gonna glue that right over there. But I'm also gonna add a couple of these blue thin line dazzle stickers. And these are from the colorful thin line dazzle stickers. And I really like this blue one right here. So before we do this, I'm going to add these, and I just really like the little scallop ones. And usually I like to have a cutting mat or something behind, below this so I can really line them up with a grid. But I'm just going to do this pretty quickly here. And I tack it down one place and then I stretch it across and do that. Right. Now you could do these on all four sides of the card and have the corners overlap, but there we go. I'm not going to really take the time to do that. There we go. <clears throat> now I'm going to take Put little dots of glue on the scallops. Put this down here. And then you'll notice you've got some little snowflakes and little birds and stuff like that that were evacuated before, so we can actually take those from the black die cut image and we can just glue those. I probably should have done that before I glued that in. And I think I've got my bunny looks okay here. And the bird, I can just glue the little black bird there, right there. And then I've got a little bow here. And this is from Velvet Glimmer, Velvet Glitter Ribbon, I think. I put that right there. And then we've got our sweet little words here that we're going to use. How about, hmm, Winter Wonderland. I want it over a little bit more. All 
I'm just going to have to tilt my card up to see if I'm doing it. There we go. And we'll get the winter part. Go. There. And I think we're all set there. Once my bow, bow glues down properly, um, I think that'll look really nice when it's sent out to my recipient. All right, so we've got one last card here, and this one is the Winter Woodland. That's this one right here with this beautiful deer. And Debbie made this great background. First, she, of course, die cut this from black, um, but she made this great sort of watercolor background using. This is Harmony Water Reactive Dye Ink, Grasshopper, and then Friar Brown. And I'm gonna show you quickly how she did this. She also added, these are the Glitter Thin Line Dazzle Stickers around the edges there, so pretty. And then also this silver sheet of the tiny words and phrases Christmas dazzles that come in the collection that I showed you. All right, so for this card, this is actually a really fast background to do. So you just want to pre-cut your white card stock. Now you could use watercolor paper for this, which has got a little bit of a textured pattern. Debbie just used white card stock. I'll attach both of those on the supply list below. And so what she did was take the Friar Brown and just use a nice craft mat. A piece of glass works nicely if you don't have that. And also want to take a little bit of the green. And then finally at the top, the blue. And then we're going to take our mister and just really get this wet. My mister is not doing great today. Here we go. I don't think I have enough water in it. Right, and then you're just going to take this and you're just going to lay this down. And lift that up. Whoops. And then you've got this great background <laughs> that's ready to go as long as it's not curling up like this. <laughs> then you just want to like blot that dry a little bit and then of course lay that flat like with a sheet protector on it and then maybe under some books and then you're good to go. So you guys, we've got great money saver on all of these, these um, paper cut scenes, cutting dies. And as you can see, they're really amazing to use for the holiday season. There's some that are just great for, I think, winter season as well. Like for the owl, I can easily see just sort of cutting off that little Santa hat and then using that for a lot of different, um, hol you know, just like fall even, winter. And as well as the winter woodland, that's just a great winter scene, depending on what you put behind it. So, you know, a lot of these are great sort of year round. This one, great for winter. And then there's some, of course, great for winter. And then there's some, of course, that are just like naturally meant for Christmas. Whoops, I'm trying to grab them. <laughs> so if you're interested in our money saver, it is on the right-hand side of our screen if you're watching us on our Paper Wishes webisode page. And if you are um, interested in buying just one or two of these products, just look below our video and you'll see the products used. And you can shop there, add things directly to your cart. There we go. And if you are watching us on YouTube, we have not forgotten about you. Um, just look below the video in the description box and you will see a link that will take you to the Paper Wishes webisode page. And you can find everything I just mentioned. And um, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. It really helps people find our channel. And subscribe. We do three to five of these videos a week and you don't want to miss a single one. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.